是藏族同胞的热情，你知道有多热情吗？啊，啊那所以怎么？嗯。Uh, I guess it's a Tibetan family who are going to to look for Chongcao, a kind of a Chinese medicine, and、uh, we were taking making making a small video, and they dropped this、uh, cheese block from the truck. Internet, welcome to my channel, Season Two on Sing China. Today I am in Lhasa, and starting from today, I will start an amazing road trip with two of my friends. You will see them in a minute. But first of all, I want to show you the strong sunlight from the city of Sunshine. So、uh, you might have already seen that those are my two friends that will be traveling、Hi. together.、Uh, Zhao, the Chinese vlogger. I'm a driver. Yeah, and also an excellent vlogger, and this is our photographer Qin.、Uh, I'm driver too. <laughs> <laughs> so both of them know how to drive. I am the only one who doesn't know how to drive, <laughs> and we have a pretty exciting trip ahead of us. So this is a map. Today we're in Lhasa, and we'll be driving to this Yangdok Lake, one of the、uh, sacred lake in in Tibet. And on the way, we will pass by a special place, a place for water barrier, because Tibet also have a a very interesting funeral practice. We will stop and explain to you a little bit. And finally, we will drive all the way south to a lake called Mo Pu Choyu. And here there are there is a small village called Tuiwa. It's the highest permanent settlement in China, and also the second highest、uh, permanent settlement in the world. Before we start, I want to show you some of the equipment that we've prepared for this long trip. So we've got a lot of camping equipment, sleeping bag, as a mat, tent, etc. Because in certain places, we can go camping,、uh, as it's not always easy to find a place to stay along this way. And secondly, we've got a lot of food: some biscuit, some instant potato powder, cereals, fruits, etc. The next, it's very important. I've got five bottles of this oxygen, because we will be driving in most places that is. Over 4,000 meters, and a very important document, 边境通行证 It's a permission to travel to some border area in Tibet. So, as a Chinese national, also I I I am free to travel in most part of Lhasa. If I want to go to some border regions, I still need、uh, permission. We are walking slowly towards this water barrier place. So, in Tibetan culture, birth and death are two very important stages in in humans' life. People strongly believe rebirth and re reincarnation. So there is a host of ritual and ceremonies in order to get a pre favorable rebirth after death. There are different、uh, funeral tradition in Tibet.、Uh, the most popular ones has been, for example, sky barrier, and water barrier, stupa barrier, fire barrier, and also tree barrier.、Uh, in southern part of Tibet, since there are very few vultures, water barrier is very common. This is just one of those water barrier place.、Uh, that is Jingfan. Jingfan means、uh, prayer flag. I think probably there is a funeral going on because the man over there he has been chanting for a while, and there are some fires. So I guess probably this is also a 
cremation process. This is the famous Yalu Zhangbujiang, Yalu Changpu River. This river is also known as Brahmaputra in India. So this is the upper stream of that river. It forms from the melting water, uh, from the mountains, and, and flows gradually across Tibet and India, Bangladesh, and finally to Indian Ocean. Now we are walking uh, around uh, this part. You can see that those are the prayer flag. A lot of color. So in the water barrier process, um, there is always a person that in the end dissect the corpus. Mm. One cutter and another one here. And the an X over there, a big one. And then they will um, they will throw the corpus in the river to feed the fish. There are different explanations. So some one explanation that many Tibetans don't eat fish because they are sacred. So um, the when, when a corpus is eaten by, for example, voucher or fish, it helps a dead person to reach the heaven faster. So we've actually seen, um, I don't know, maybe five or six people, they are walking um, around this mountain. On the other side of the road, on that big rock, there are a lot of white ladders. Uh, in Tibetan culture, they call them Tianti, which means sky ladders. And they work as a kind of a tool to help the prayers or the souls to reach heaven. So. Uh... I'm okay. There's a viewing platform here, it's about 4,000 meters. That's Zhang'ao, the Tibetan dogs, they are huge. And that's Yark, the big, big, uh, big animal in Tibet. And here they are selling all kinds of souvenirs. Zhang'ao就是一般是现在是拍照嘛，以之前是那看家护院，看家护院是吧？啊，也可以说是。啊，对，怎么说家里牦牛也比较多嘛，那种可以让他找一下，可以帮忙。对呀，五六斤，五六
抱的热情，你知道有多热情吗？啊，这个意思吗？嗯。啊 ，I guess it's a Tibetan family who are going to to look for Chongcao, a kind of a Chinese medicine, and、uh, we were taking. Making a small video, and they drop this、uh, cheese block from their truck. It's not really easy to travel to to Tibet because of this climate. It's some of the most inhabitable environment in the world. So at about 5,000 meters, the oxygen level is only 50%. For example, compared with that in Shanghai, but the landscape is just too amazing. We continue to climb, and now we are at、uh, Yangtok Lake, one of the three sacred lake in Tibet.、Uh, I don't want to do to move a lot because otherwise I'm out of breath, and also I want to test my oxygen level to see if I can adapt to this climate. Elevation 5,000 meter. My oxygen level is 78, which is quite low.、Uh, there is a method, a breathing method that can help you to、uh, raise oxygen level really fast. It's called 超呼吸 which means that you breathe super fast. I am going to、um, explain to you how it works. So I'm going to start. <laughs> And meanwhile, let's see this device. It works. Remember, how do you find it hard to breathe? Just breathe super fast. <laughs> Hello， 你感觉咋样？好多了吗？就是、这个、个、那个那个、Hello， 你感觉咋样？好多了吗？这个地方特别没力气，比如说你抓那个那个抓手的时候都没有力气，那边有雪，走吧，走吧。走吧 So there is no tap water in the village, so people have to take the water from this freshwater lake. Where are you from? China. You went on the bike? I went on the bike. Oh my God! 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 哦，去啊！去啊！晚上睡觉的话会憋醒。<笑>你现在搭他的车？哦哦。他他本来就在这里露营嘛。那你自行车放哪？自行车放在他那个车顶。就你们俩都睡到晚上，睡醒了憋醒了是吗？不是，他是我在山南，他在山南、哦，我一个人在在这个地方。就是你是会憋醒的，你骑车过来也会憋醒。<笑>嗯，我骑了，我从云南那边骑过来的，然后到这个地方遇见强哥了。啊，好，我们过去了啊。哇塞，啊、行好慢点、啊，行，你们慢一点，谢谢。拜拜拜拜，嗯。See you next time. See you. Really hard to breathe, so you you know he said that he he woke up because he couldn't breathe at night, and normally if you go travel here by bike or by car slowly, then you have this time. To adapt, but for him apparently, and it was quite tough. I'm not so sure I want to stay overnight for here. It's going to be quite a big challenge for me. But there is oxygen in a in a hotel, so let's let's see. This feels like the end of the world. Look at those big chunk of ice. This big ice. And that's a lake, and the the cloud is just so low, and there are some birds.
尝一尝。能有啥好吃的？能吃高反我就吃。说不定能吃，试试。嗯、oh.。Now all I want is a cup of hot uh 甜茶。Yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream, but nothing special. But the landscape is just amazing. The environment is so harsh that it's even very hard for plants to grow here. There's no single tree. There are very few grass, and the only plant that I've seen is this. It looks like a, a big, let's say, a big, big stone. I don't know what kind of、uh, plant is that. Look, this one as well. So actually, it also has flowers. This is perhaps the highest hotel in the world. It's called Hotel Five Thousand and Seventy. Well, I just hope they have oxygen. They have oxygen in the hotel room. Hello, Biao Jian. Yellow chow. Yellow chow. Can you tell me, Biao Jian, has oxygen? 没有，只有标间有氧气是吗？有，标间多少钱一罐啥呀？二百八。二百八，行，那我。你还记得我不？我来过的。我看看这时间场景多好啊！哇、oh, ，I'm out of breath.、Oh, so this hotel room is actually quite nice, but oh, so no people is here. 是这里是吧？哦，这里是。老板，这个氧气怎么用呀？他会教你的。哦。是可以插鼻子还是咋地？插鼻子。啊，那太好了！天哪。It's so crazy. Like only one hour, and now it's snowing. Look. 你看呀，挺大的。我上一次来也是这么大雪，我都服了。每次来都下雪。天哪！啊，我他妈什么呀？ Weather in this place is so unpredictable. The moment before, it was very sunny, and then it started rainy, and then、uh, snowing, and then I heard a thunderstorm, and now it's currently very, very cloudy. Those are reasons, right? Reasons. And they are from Siberia. Ah, 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 ah. He feels you are very friendly. He comes. Yes, very hard. This one. It takes a lot of effort to. To throw just a little bit of the reason.、Uh, We've just ordered some food. I've ordered the chicken. It will take a while, and they've ordered some fried rice. I'm actually quite happy that we have some food here. You have to transport anything. I think they produce nothing, but for example, dairy and meat. Here, you eat one cup of rice. Yes. Compared to that. 城里面吃龙虾鲍鱼还香啊！对，这边实在是太不容易了。你看外面什么都没整。Very delicious。所以说它就很咸，你看见没有？嗯。它里面放了很多盐巴，没有没有化掉。就是一煮咸一煮淡的那种。对对啊。After thirty minutes, no, forty minutes, uh, my food has also arrived. I've got chicken. There are some vegetables. One piece, two piece. Three pieces of chicken, four pieces of chicken,、uh, some potatoes, and、uh, a bowl of rice. I'm so hungry now.、Ah. Uh, I have reached my hotel room now. I have a room for two, but for myself. And I've just checked my、um, oxygen level. It was 66 before, but now I have a oxygen machine. 
and you can see the number is rising 87 yeah. so yeah it really helps otherwise if I walk very long outside it's it's quite hard I have um I have a let's say in Chinese so you can heat up your your bed it's very cold right now but with that I can manage and um, let me get rid of this off. get rid of this and show you the rest of my room um, I've also got a small heater so now it's quite warm and uh, this is my toilet it's very basic and that's um, electronic heater so you can take a shower so this room cost 200 per night which um, I would say it's quite an okay price because this place is extremely remote and outside my room you've already heard here's the sound so our photographer is 80, 78 okay yeah <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so without that uh, machine he's like 81 it's also quite low this is our hotel reception girl uh, she is from here from uh, uh, she's also Tibetan so she's local and we are measuring her oxygen level we still have to wait for so her number is 88 which is pretty good it's a very good performance for such a high place so uh, yeah I think I am going to end my video from here and tomorrow uh, we will do a small trip in this the second highest village in the world and also the highest freshwater lake in the world thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time